Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It is Monday, May the 20th. How about that? It's my little girl's birthday today. Little girls, 20, in her 20s. I won't rat her out. Hey, uh, today we're talking about answering the call. Your phone is ringing. Will you answer it? Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. It is a bright, shiny Monday morning, and here am I, bright and shiny, with a new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Hey, listen, do me a favor when you get here, whether you're watching live, watching a replay, watching on uh, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, listening on your favorite podcast catcher, wherever you happen to be catching the show, do me a favor, leave me a comment, say hi, name where you're listening from or watching from. That is always exciting and interesting to me, and you can join the ranks of folks like Sarah and Jessica who have done that already. All right, so um, today I want to talk. Uh, so I've got a quote. If you if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it already. Uh, if you hadn't, you can go check it out as soon as we're done at Tom Rigsby. If you can't stop thinking about it, don't stop working on it. If you can't stop thinking about it, don't stop working on it. We have this thing in our head, right? And, well, let me back up. Before we even get to the thing in our head, we are each, you've heard me say this before, we are each uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do work that matters. Now, there's this whole definition that goes behind work that matters, but what you need to know right now is that That gift and talent that you have, that work that matters for you is unique to you. Yours is different than mine. And it calls to you. And so in our head, we've got this thing. We can't, if there's something that you just can't stop thinking about that keeps coming back to you day after day after day, there's a reason for that. That's That's your work that matters. That's your unique combination of gifts and talents calling to you because you have a role to fill. And if you don't fill that role, number one, you won't find your fulfillment. Number two, it's like a piece of, you know, pieces of of the puzzle. The the pieces you connect to, they're going to have something missing. And number three, the big picture is going to be short the contribution that you were intended to make. So when you have an opportunity calling, you need to answer, right? I said, you know, the phone was ringing. Would you answer it? These things call to us, and we are dismissive of them sometimes, especially when we feel like they are simple. Well, let me explain that. We have, when we're using our gifts and talents, the things, the work that we do seems simple to us. And If I had a nickel for every time I heard, oh, nobody's going to pay me for that. That's easy. Yeah, it's easy for you because you are uniquely gifted and talented to do that. Don't be dismissive of that talent. That's that you have that ability. It is simple for you because that's what you're supposed to do. So do that. And when you do that, right, that's where your joy and fulfillment comes from. So many people. Will forego. Now, just because you are are gifted and talented to do that does not mean that it's going to be picture perfect. So many people pass on an opportunity because they can't see how, how it gets from point A to point B or the whole list of instructions isn't there or whatever. Right? But an opportunity is just a set of circumstances. You are presented with a new set of circumstances maybe hundreds of times a day. And whether you turn them into an opportunity or not is up to you. I mean, it's how you look at that set of circumstances and respond to it. So, So make the choice. You have to choose to respond to those circumstances the right way. 
And if you do, if you respond to those circumstances the right way, then it is an opportunity and you make progress. That progress may be messy. You, you, you know, my, one of my favorite quotes about planning is from General Patton. No, no plan survives first contact with the enemy. You can't wait till all the lights are green to pull out of the, the driveway. Whatever analogy you want to use, the, the opportunity is not a guarantee. It is a set of circumstances that if you capitalize on those circumstances, you can make progress. Progress, movement toward a goal. Movement, not achievement. We want an opportunity to be a, hey, give it to me. I can plug it in. Hey, it's all working now, right? More often than not, it's like the old toys, right? You see a picture of the completed toy on the outside, and then lee dee bee print, some assembly required, right? Bat- batteries required, not included, right? Oh, man, yeah, I put it together. I have to work for it. I don't know if I want to work for it or not. Don't be that kid, <laughs> that doesn't want to work for the prize. You have the opportunity to create something great. That's what you were created for, gifted, talented with, is to do something great. Don't let the phone keep ringing because it won't ring forever. Sooner or later, it'll go to voicemail. And then they won't leave a message and nor a callback number, and you can't call them back. So there. That's it for today. Hey, uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, in addition to Sarah and Jessica, Joe and Abby joined Several people joined on Instagram. Thank you for joining there as well. Listen, if you get any value at all whatsoever out of our time together each morning, I would love it and appreciate it very much if you would share this video with one person in your network that could benefit from hearing it. That's all. Just one person. Don't have to share it with the whole network. Just find one person that would benefit. Ask them to listen to it and join us each morning. Uh, on the show. All right, that's it. It's Monday. Go out and have a fantastic Monday. I'll be back again tomorrow with another brand new installment. Seven minutes in the morning. You guys take care.